Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm at Crown Genesis in St. Pete, Florida, and guess what? We have that one mid-size sedan that really started it for the Genesis brand. This is it. This is an updated 2022 Genesis G80. Our particular one is a special sport prestige trim package. But before we get into this four-door, all-wheel drive, twin turbocharged luxury sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. So if you go back, way back to the early 2000s, there was a vehicle known as the Hyundai Genesis sedan. That was a showcase for Hyundai as a brand to bring some luxury, some high-end finishes to their car lineup. Now with the Genesis brand started in 2015, that sedan created the brand. And now the brand is growing and flourishing like none other because not only do we have vehicles like the G80, the smaller G70, and of course that full-size G90, we now of course have some SUVs, the GV70, GV80, and the upcoming electrified GV60. I know it's a lot of alphabet soup and numbers being thrown around, but Genesis wants to showcase against, of course, those iconic German Euro brands, what they could bring when it comes to feel, fit, finish, and at the end of the day, design and performance, but also bring that value, especially when it comes to their long existing warranties. But what I wanna find out is, I wanna specifically look at a competitor to this vehicle because it has some new touches and some new finishes for 2022. I wanna compare it to the mighty BMW 5 Series, that 540i. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this beautiful matte white G80. Find out what's different and see, is this the better mid-size luxury sports sedan over that BMW? Let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the style. Genesis is doing something so unique with their whole lineup, and really you could see it so clearly on this G80. The way they have their LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and turn singles in this split level setup really makes it stand out from the rest of the crowd, especially the German Euro brands. And this optional uh, pearlescent metallic flat white really just fits the body lines and kind of just brings that overall luxury feel up another notch. Now on the lower side of things, you are gonna get a functional side air curtain and functional corner venting. I like the way that they went with this, um, almost like a, a, a satin black rather than just a pure piano gloss black. You do have a lower lip area that does extend out. This is more of that glossy uh, black or some people call piano black finish on the lower end, but you can see that wonderful matte color just really sparkles nicely in the Florida sun. Now, as we come across the front of this G80, Remember, you're gonna have that unique grill setup, just like BMW has the kidney grill design that's kind of grown into the lung design with the overall size. Genesis definitely wins the grill battle for size because this has got to be one of the largest grills, but you know what? It fits it. I love the crisscross design. It's a black chrome finish, and if you notice, everything comes to a point. Really love the way they kind of line up all that design. You're gonna get a forward-facing camera, you can see how nicely that the hood meets with that top grill area. And then I'm really digging how they painted these body color matching in the center. Really shows a lot of depth of style. Now what's great is new for 2022, all of the V6 twin turbocharged G80s come standard with all wheel drive and ours has four wheel steering. But wait until we get to that. But looking at the style, I definitely like the look of this nicer than the BMW 540i. Now when we get up onto the hood, there's that Genesis badge, really getting a lot of credibility in the auto industry, especially when it comes to style and people are noticing the reliability. You got a nice kind of canyon in the center here. Everything just goes right towards the windshield. And I think one of my favorite parts is how the hood comes down to the fender. Really has a nice step and especially with the matte white, really showcases those lines. Now as we come around the bend, we got some new wheels for 2022, and this matches perfectly with the GV80 and the GV70. So you're gonna get these 20-inch wheels 
with that intricate design, very similar to what's on the grill. I like the way they did that. I know some people are not really digging this. I, I think for a five spoke, it adds that extra kind of element of design to really make it stand out. You got massive uh, calipers that are gonna clamp down on those fully ventilated and obviously nice large rotors with the all-wheel drive that's gonna get you to the power to the ground. But those are six piston calipers. So very, very nice large caliper with the Genesis uh, branding. I like the flat silver and this black chrome finish really shines nicely without going too over the top. You're looking at a 245 on the width and a 40 series sidewall. And the way the car sits with those adaptive dampers, all four corners, really just has a nice stance right from the factory. Another one of my favorite touches, is I love the way they do the side marker lights. Of course, LED with some nice intricate design, not trying to look like a vent or anything like that, but definitely being very stylistic. And at night, you could clearly tell that this is a Genesis product. We got color mesh on the mirror caps, 360 degree cameras. We have the whole roof. Thank you, Genesis. We got a panoramic sunroof, but they blacked out the whole roof all the way towards the rear glass with an even blacked out shark fin antenna. Really gives it that nice color contrast. We have dark chrome around the top and the bottom. Dark chrome on the door handles with some of that beautiful flat white. And then we have the trim all the way along the bottom towards the rear of the vehicle. Now the rear gets 275 on the width. So there's more rubber to meet the road on the rear. And what's great is 100% of the torque can be sent to the rear wheels even though this is an all-wheel drive vehicle. And comparing this to the M4, the uh, BMW 540i, 540i has that X drive, which is all-wheel drive as well. Now coming towards the rear, the way that they really just artistically drop in these beautiful LED taillights, look at that. Look at how sharp that looks. Really think they hit the nail on the head. Nice little kick up to the trunk, the dark chrome finish with your rearward facing camera and the way that they hide the button. Very, very clever Genesis badge, all wheel drive with the 3.5 liter twin turbo. And we have four wheel steering, but going all the way down, nice clean on the rear diffuser. You got the same shape that they use on the grill for the exhaust, that decorative trim ring. We have functional exhaust on both sides. I think the one zonk is that at the tail end of the business, I'm not, I'm not liking this fake vent. Why they didn't just keep the same material all the way across instead of having to do that. There's no re reason for it. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our GH. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Opens nice and wide. You got those hydraulic hood struts. Underneath the hood, very, very tasteful. Nothing too over the top when it comes to the engine cover and the rest of the plastic that they put in the engine compartment. But what, what, what are we looking at? We're looking at the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, 375 horsepower, and 391 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to an eight-speed automatic. And like I said, standard all-wheel drive. Now you can get rear-wheel drive, but you gotta go with the smaller engine. That's the inline four turbocharged engine. But in this 2022 G80 with the V6 twin turbo, you're looking at zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna go by at 13.1 at 108 miles an hour. Top speed is 155 miles per hour. MPG 17 in the city, 26 on the highway, and the car has weighs in at 4,495 pounds. And don't forget the rear wheel steering, something you're not going to get on your BMW 540i. I love the bracing, love the way you see just enough of the engine, but nothing too obnoxious. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up the G80 and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Genesis G80, that sport prestige, getting the newer wheels for 2022, getting the all-wheel drive standard 
and the four wheel steering. That's pretty freaking killer technology, especially in a luxury sports sedan. But I know you're saying, well, Joe, I've looked at BMWs, I've looked at the Audi A6, I've looked at Mercedes Benz. How much is this Genesis G80? It's got to be more expensive than they are because of all the extras that you get. Well, here's the big surprise. Comparing apples to apples, we're not comparing this to a Toyota Camry. We're comparing this to a BMW 540i. The way that this one is optioned, you're looking at MSRP of a little over $72,000. Let's see what you get for the money to those door panels. Absolute sexy sportiness. Look at the carbon fiber design that they got going on. Very unique weave of carbon fiber. Never seen it done like that. That's what Genesis is bringing. All that smooth, soft touch material flows nicely into the middle of the door panel. And then we have the Lexicon audio system, premium sound with those premium aluminum speaker grill covers. 21 speakers in this midsize sedan. And then of course, in that lower pocket, you'll easily be able to get, I would say, two large containers of your favorite Chinese food. Maybe some pork fried rice, maybe some lo mein, whatever you want, at least two of them in there. But then going from the door panel to the dash, we got more sexiness, more carbon fiber, loving the red stitching, soft touch material. And then of course, if you like it big, you're getting it big mid-size with this sedan because you're getting an infotainment system that's over 14 inches in size. This is your home screen. You just hit it. And then basically that brings up your navigation. We got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, of course. Love the nice horizontal design display. And then when it comes to like getting back to home, you can either hit the screen, obviously touch screen, or I hit the button on the center console. Super smooth, like silk. They actually were able to computerize the feel of silk with the slide features. So it's like your finger running across a, a silk sheet. But let me show you some of the touches. Of course, we got shh, quiet mode for when the kids are sleeping. And something I just realized, does that look like a smiley face? I know that's supposed to be the moon and some stars, but those are the two eyes, the nose and a smiley face. That's how I feel when I go on throttle in a lot of the different vehicles. But let me show you something kind of cool. You could go into your seat features and your seat controls with the touchscreen. So say your passenger is being a whiny pain in the butt, telling you how to drive, telling you how to live your life, telling you just how to exist. You could actually control their seat. So I'm gonna make their seat actually move forward, or if you wanna squish them like up against the dash, you could squish them up against the dash, like the way it gives you or your passenger that uh, ability to change the seat settings very, very easily. We go back to home. I'm gonna swipe a little bit more here. Going to climate controls. Dual climate all there. Look, there's our dash, the carbon fiber, our nice steering wheel. Of course, you got full touch screen. And then what's nice is, is your passenger, if they don't want the wind blowing on their face, they could actually s select a different area. Say their feet are hot because they're wearing those Ugg boots in the summertime because they wanna look cute and adorable. Well, guess what? They could actually cool off their sweaty feet by just easily adjusting that right here on the screen. Nice, simple, easy to use. You can even get into rear climate controls. Say your kids are playing with the AC controls and it's driving you nuts. You tell them, hey, now you're really gonna hate life, kids. I'm shutting off the air. I want you to sweat it out. There you go. Right back here and then right back to home. Easy peasy. Let me show you the uh, camera. Nice, super clear resolution. Yes, that is a Veloster N right there in that performance blue. We got trajectory, all the touch screen. Look, there we are here at Crown Genesis. Look at the wheels moving and everything. Really, really like that setup there. And then even the forward facing camera, boom, and then boom. So you got your different camera abilities. Coming down, I like the way they integrated the AC vents, more of that carbon fiber, your start stop button. And then if you didn't like the screens, you could actually adjust your AC through the system here. We got ventilated seats, three stages, three stages of a heated seat, heated steering wheel, and see, look, you could cool off those feet, take it off your face, put it wherever you want. Put the air wherever the heck you want. Dropping down, what do we got? Door number one, carbon fiber. Wireless charging, two USB-A's, close it up. 
Open this bad boy, door number two, two cup holders for your two glasses of, of fresh juice, your, your kale and carrot fresh juice, nice cold fresh juice. You can put those there. Love the silver trim and this carbon fiber. If you don't want to touch the screen besides buttons, you do have this rotary, almost like a BMW iDrive controller switch here. There, this is going to control that eight speed automatic. And this is fine crystal, like from the movie, The Dark Crystal. Love that setup. Nice and soft, super soft, the red stitching. Bombs away, what do we got? We got the keys. I had to fit them in the glove compartment because they're on the larger side. Plus they have these condoms over here that they get shipped with so they don't, don't get scratched. But the great news is take out this little peanut tray. You could put the box set of the Sopranos in here. So if you're a big Sopranos fan like I am, put the box set there and you have a 12 volt. Plus the seats, look at this, the leather, the red piping, the stitching, look at the design. This herringbone design is just freaking amazing. Full electric assist. And then look, I even got the chauffeur setting. So if you don't want to do screen, you could do it right here and adjust this. Or this is also good, obviously, for somebody who's sitting in the back seat that needs to move the seat. Alcantara, yes, just like your girlfriend's pussy cat, nice and soft. And we got, look at that, large panoramic sunroof. Close it up. I like that split door design, kind of cool there. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind this 12 inches of digital dash in our Genesis G8. All right, guys, here we are, business time behind the wheel. Now you are gonna get two memory seat settings and you do get a nice tasteful aluminum sill, but the zonk is it doesn't light up. So I wish that it had some kind of LED lighting. I do like the pedal box, nice aluminum brake pedal, the throttle, and they have the same design, those triangle diamond looking things are the design off the grill. Large dead pedal, but it's just plastic. I wish they would have made that aluminum. You have all your seat controls, easy to get to, really make it fit like it was built for you. And then the steering wheel. I think in the G80, the steering wheel looks great, especially how they brought this red stitching into play. Nice, simple on the buttons. You do have paddles to go up and down the eight-speed automatic, and this is an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Nice, fine, soft leather. And then there's that 12 inches, I promised you. 12-inch digital display, it's actually the 3D digital display. Here's your different modes. Check this out. So right now we're in comfort. You could go sport. And then of course, new for 2022 is sport plus. The exhaust gets a little bit louder, shuts off the traction control, and we have our corner cameras. Love that technology on the Genesis G80. You don't get that with your BMW. Just saying, just saying. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how your passenger is going to feel sitting in the back of this G80. All right, guys, back seat time. And this is where the G80, it really flexes its muscle because there's so much passenger room. And if you have been in a G70, you would totally understand that there's a big difference between the G70 back seat and the G80. Now, on the back, the leather, you have nice large pockets. You could easily put a couple laser discs back here. Hold on to those memories. You got your rear AC vents, kind of blowing a little hard right now, but that's great because it brings a lot of cool air. I like the way they designed the vents and the stitching comes all the way to the back. We got the chauffeur seat switches, so you can move up that seat. Say your little sister is bothering you, you can kind of shove her right into the dash, give yourself a little bit more leg room. I'm sitting here, now you do have the uh, little shades. They're manual controls, which obviously it's a little cumbersome, the great news is, is right here, we do have our two cup holders. You got three stages of heated seat. Would be nice to also have ventilated seats in the back, but we got a power shade for the back glass. That's very high end limo feel. And then you can put it back down. Voila, all with the press of a button. Look at this. This looks just like the material up front because it is, they didn't go cheap on the stitching. Open it up, you got two USB A's and you can fit the VHS version of Titanic in here. And if you know how long that movie is, you know that that's a lot of space because VHS, don't even get me started. Just remember, please be kind and rewind. The seats bolstering in the back seat area, which is phenomenal, and that beautiful herringbone style to it. This thing goes back up, watch this. It actually makes a sound that you could change. Are you ready for this? 
So there you go. It gives you a nice little warning that it's closing. But let's go ahead. Let's get into that trunk area and see if there's any usable space in this G8. All right, guys. Time to get in that trunk. Now, one of the great things is that it's nice to see Genesis sticking with sedans, especially when SUVs seem to be taking over the world besides electric vehicles. But we're going to hit that button. You have nice electric assist, wide opening. You're going to be greeted to 14 cubic feet of space. Now, the major zonk is you cannot fold down the rear seat. You see that little door that's the perfect size for a gnome, one of those garden gnomes to kind of crawl through? That's the space that you have if you have a large, long object. Like maybe you got that Persian rug from your favorite rug store. You could then open that up and slide the big rug in here. But other than that, you do have a nice cargo net on the passenger side for that luxurious box of Twinkies. And then, I don't know if you've ever seen, you do get a Genesis first aid kit. So in case you uh, cut yourself, you can put, your, put the little Genesis uh, band-aids on there. But you know what? It's about that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go take this G80 all-wheel drive with rear-wheel steering for a little spin. All right, guys, we left Crown Hyundai, also known as Crown Genesis, and we are in this 2022 G80. This is really where this vehicle shines so well is just your daily commute. All of the fine finishes in here, the all-wheel drive to keep you planted to the surface, no matter what the weather conditions may be, all the great technology, the massive over 14 inch infotainment system display, heated seats, ventilated seats, sunshades, the whole nine yards, really, really done so well in this vehicle. Now for 2022, you do have that sport plus mode. That's what I have it in. And it does keep the revs a bit higher. Right now I'm turning about 3,000 RPM and I'm doing about 60 miles an hour. So this is really that mode that you want from when you want to get twisty with it and, and really just twist up the uh, and ignite that wick because it's going to perform and it's going to surprise you, especially with the way the transmission and the engine behaves. Visibility is phenomenal in this thing and you're just spoiled feeling so comfortable. All right, guys, I can't wait to see how this rear wheel steering is gonna allow this G80 to corner and dance, unlike any other G80 that we have brought to you here on Rady's Rides. Um, I do have it, like I said, Sport Plus mode, but if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. We're gonna come to a stop here. Nobody's behind us, which is good. Oh, bro, here we go, yeah! <laughs> that all-wheel drive keeping us planted. Wow, oh my God, you really feel that rear wheel steering big time, big time. Especially in this tight corner coming up. Nice downshifts. Whoa! <laughs> wow, this thing is a ton of fun to drive. It was more so, I thought already, but now, even more on top of that, with the rear wheel steering, you got all wheel drive and you got sport plus mode. That to me really just checks off so many boxes and then everything else in here. And then of course to switch the modes, it's real simple. You go right into comfort. Here we are doing 60 and I dropped the revs down to about 2100 RPM. Go into sport, love the way the, the dash changes. And then now we're back into Sport Plus. Let's do a uh, on throttle. I'm gonna use the paddles. So you do have a small, small gear indicator. Second gear, on throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> nice. Very responsive with the paddles, especially on the downshifts. I like the way the 3D gauges really showcase that you're going from one gear to the other whether it's up or down. And then you have that massive head up display, which is great too. All right, let's do a little bit more on throttle and checking out this setup with the rear wheel. It's unbelievable. The difference you're gonna notice night and day difference between non rear wheel steering and rear wheel steering. 
Here we go. Hot <laughs> throttle, yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> On the brakes. Brakes are nice and large in size. Look at that. Slow us down. Holds a line so nicely. Super, super smooth. Very, very smooth with the power delivery. Now, there is a little bit of a pause because you're waiting for the boost to to kick in with the twin turbos but once the boost is there you are on full steam like a rocket ship and just really nice the way everything is laid out in here you feel comfortable you feel good it's not an m car this isn't a car to go up against the m5 but boy does this open up the door for people to go from a German Euro car like the BMW 540i and get into one of these uh, G80s. All right, guys, here we go. Our throttle. <laughs> the rear wheel steering makes it that much better. It really does. Look at this. Really, really nice. And, I, and I'm, I'm really liking the way it's very, very balanced. Now, one thing that the BMW does have over this vehicle is a little bit more feel and feedback to the steering wheel. I think a little bit more work could be done by Genesis in that department. But other than that, this is gonna really surprise you. And such a sexy, sexy car with that paint job. Nice deliberate shifts when you are in Sport Plus mode. But here we go, on throttle. <laughs> on the brakes with his right-hander, look at this. Just gripped, just grips, and then we're off. But like I said, just a little bit more feedback to the wheel. Let me go ahead and put this into comfort mode and just cruise on back to Crown Genesis. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the G80 is all about, the new touches for 2022. We're going to get back, like I said, to Crown Genesis and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys. It's been one heck of a day here at Crown Genesis. I definitely want to thank Steven and the whole crew getting us access to this G80 for 2022 with standard all-wheel drive and rear-wheel steering. Let me know what you think. Has Genesis done enough to topple the mighty German Euro brands, especially that BMW 540i? Put it in the comment section. Would this be the one? that luxury mid-size sport sedan that you would spend your money on? Let me know in the comments section. I'm dying to read them. But until we meet again, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radius Rides merch. Got to give it out to the queen behind the lens. She's rocking it like a champ out here. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.